Hey y'all, Grandma Rose here. I am standing on my back steps underneath the awning because it's raining outside. Got out earlier this morning and got some weeding done and I recorded a little video that I wanted to show you. And now it's raining. It rained about two inches of rain last night and then we had a little break this morning and I was able to get out in just a little while to record this video. And then it started raining again and it's been raining on and off the rest of the day. Tomorrow's supposed to be a pretty day, so maybe I'll actually get something done tomorrow. Enjoy the video, y'all. Well, this week is the week that these plants are going to be planted in the garden. I still have a lot of work to do back there, but it's going to get done. But the last thing I've planted, or the most recent thing I've planted, are the sunflowers. In these pots right here, these containers are all sunflowers. And if you look closely, we've got sunflowers. I love it when they're in this stage. Just peeking their heads out of the soil. Say hello, world. So these are autumn beauties. Let me think, there you go. Autumn beauty. These are black Russian. So I've got 16. There's four containers of, of the autumn beauty. Four containers of, after the rain last night, lemon queen. Dwarf sunflower sunspot dwarf. So sunspot dwarf, lemon queen, autumn beauty, black black Russian, and mammoth. So I've got more of the mammoth. There's four times six because these are six packs of the mammoth. I've got the white bush scallop squash one there's a second one coming up right there so i'm going to have two of those which is plenty that's plenty and melons that i just planted yesterday so that's crenshaw melon canary melon tigger melon and what is this banana cantaloupe so those four and i had already planted the kajari melon it's back in here somewhere with those other melons and things back in there. That's where the kajari is. So those are going to get planted. But while I'm showing you all of this, let me show you where I'm going to plant the Cherokee Tan Pumpkins when I get them planted. I am going to do them again this year. Walk over here. This is all, man, this is good straw, isn't it? Or not straw, hay. This is hay from a weed eater. This is all the stuff that was coming up around here. Finally got it cut down. Goodness. Well, that was getting cut down. Kale got cut down too, which meant I got to, I got to make kale chips. I did that. Not a lot of kale left. This is getting ready to bolt. And so right in here where that kale is, on this panel right here is going to be beans. I'm going to, I'm going to plant beans on this panel. Let's come over here and show you some more. Over in there, those are irises. Those are my blue flag iris. Lots of them. We got rain last night. I really don't want to wade through this. It's wet. But in the middle of that blue flag iris is where I am going to plant. I'm going to cut that all down to the ground. And that's where I'm going to plant the, the Cherokee Ken pumpkins. And back over further, right there close to next to the fence, I'm going to plant watermelon. Now I know from experience that those pumpkins are not going to stay there. In the area where I'm standing right now, where I cleared out, you see, yeah, I know. It looks terrible, but it's gonna not take any time to clean up because these are easy, easy plants to pull up. I've already dug up iris in here, and this is where I had planted the Cherokee Tan Pumpkins last year. They took over my entire garden. All the way over here. All the way over there. Across that fence and into the other part, into my herb garden. Climbed up all of this fence on all, all edges of the fence from five seeds. I'm planning on participating in a collaboration with Wanda, Deep South Homestead, crazy days. 
So this, this collaboration went up on Crazy Days. She's sending out a bunch of pumpkin seeds, uh, both the Cherokee Tan and Seminole pumpkins to people. They're not gonna know what they get. So I'm waiting until those seeds have arrived to those people before I plant mine. I haven't planted them yet, but I will. So in here, this is stuff that I do not want in here, but it won't be, it'll take me a couple of hours to clean this up. And I'm gonna wait until, not today, because it just rained and it is really, really wet in here. So right in there, like I said, in the middle of all of those irises, I know it doesn't look like a place to, a good place to plant them, but the soil is fertile. Okay, I'll cut those down to the ground, and they'll, they're not gonna stay there. They're going, they're going to crawl out of there and they're gonna be all over the place just like they were the last time. Not worried about that. I know that from experience. That's what I did last year. I planted them right there among my irises last year and they did beautifully. So that's the plan. That's where the Cherokee Town pumpkins are going back in there. Snow peas are flowering. Now these are gonna have green pods. I forgot, I forgot what variety this is. But these are snow, snow peas, and they're doing well. Oh, there's a pot on that one. Right there, we've got the first green snow pea. It needs to be just a little bit bigger before I pick it. That's the first one on this one. Let me show you my other snow peas. I planted two varieties of snow peas. And over here on the other side, you probably can't see, you can't see it from here, but I'll walk over there and show you, are yellow snow peas, and they are fabulous. That plant right there is my collard, a collard green, a Georgia collard that I'm letting go to seed. I'm gonna collect the seeds. So this part in here I've already cleared for the most part. Need to do a little bit more work on it. Piled the weeds over there, so those need to go to the compost. And we've got some more to do. I've cleaned up over there. I've got this spot right in here that I need to clean up. Right in this area, right in here needs to be cleaned up but that won't take me long this is all this is all chickweed and chickweed just does not take any time at all well i say all chickweed some of it is, is the geranium little carolina geranium carolina cranes bill that won't take any time they just pull right up and it's amazing the area that one plant takes up so this will not take me probably 15 minutes to clean this area up over here against, you know, that was that looks like that was a refrigerator tray or something. But I used it, I'm blocking some asparagus. The dog, was, the dog was digging up the asparagus. So I put that there to protect the asparagus. He's not bothering it now, but I'm not gonna move that yet. So over in here, can you see the yellow peas on this? Let me get closer. Look at these, aren't these wonderful? Now I've forgotten the name of them, it's Golden Something. I got these seeds from a company called Seeds in Such. It's like seeds, apostrophe in, such. And I got some tomato seeds, and I found these and a few other things that are interesting that I haven't seen in other catalogs. Don't know if Baker Creek has them or not, I have to check, but I did find them there price was good and look aren't they fabulous aren't they interesting and the flowers gorgeous I don't see any flowers right here that are actually opening yet there's one right there that is already finished and it's getting ready to make a pea that one right there probably is getting ready to open I'll find a picture I have a picture of one that I took that I can put in here to show you what these flowers look like because man they are so beautiful so here's a picture of what they look like the flowers aren't they amazing and then this is what the peas look like when the flower goes and the fruit develops beautiful yellow snow peas so pretty and so pretty in a dish too so this area right here where I'm standing this is where I'm putting okra. I'm gonna put the okra over here 
get asparagus right up there against against that trellis. There's a spot of asparagus right over there. There's another clump of, as of asparagus right here. And over on that side is another clump of asparagus. And you know, they, the weeds just continue to grow. I had already cleaned that out and it's back again, so I need to get some stuff planted in there and put some mulch down. So, the asparagus is not doing anything this year, so I see no reason not to plant not to plant my okra so i've got spots between the asparagus so there's a there's a, an area right in here to the right of that that little trellis that i have right in there and then on the other side of this right in there is a spot so i'll put two okras there and then i'll put some out in front of the asparagus so i should get oh five seven or so okra plants which will be more than enough for me and again those sweet peas I'm just in love with those things so right in here is where okra is going and I'm doing that because I've got onions over here right in here is onions this is not a good spot to put tomatoes or peppers not, not around onions I'm leaving the onions there so I need to find something else that's going to go. This, so this area right in here, where I'm standing, right here, is okra. I've got onions here. So I've got room over here for something. Room over there for something. So I'll probably put some kind of squash. Squash or melon in this area. Then this collard will be coming out. So I'll have room to put something in here. Probably more squash or melon next to this onion and then over on the other side of this is going to be tomatoes and peppers then i've got my back garden back in the back way back there that you can't see well it's not way back there but you can't see in the picture so back there in in my back garden is going to be more tomatoes and peppers and squash i'm going to do squash back in there I'm trying to think of things that won't tempt the, the deer so much. We'll see what's going to go back there, but the most, most of my tomatoes and peppers are going to be in this area. And we'll see what I have left over that's going to go back there, but I know I'm putting squash back there. Now I've got other places around, around the yard, around my property, that I've got, where I've got fencing. And so along the fences, I will be putting climbing things. So I will have something climbing on all of the fences. I'm planting five different kinds of melons. And so, and I'm planting a couple of kinds, kinds of climbing, climbing beans. I'm putting, I'm gonna put beans over there where those peas are. And behind me, back over here, I'm putting cucumbers. So I'm switching. Now I've got fences in other parts, other parts of the yard that are fenced off too, so I can I can use those fences also. So that's my plan as far as it goes. And I surely am ashamed that I have not completely cleaned up this garden. Because I had time to do it and I was doing other things. I'm bad. Really, really bad. Now this tree right here is will be cut down again. I cut that down to the ground last year and it has come back that much. That's a red buckeye and it's gorgeous. But it just casts too much shade on this part of the garden and I can't have that. As pretty as it is, I don't need that in my garden. It was more decorative than anything else and this is food area. Now anything that I'm going to have that's decorative is going to be a pollinator attractant. So of course I will have marigolds and other things tucked in around, around these other plants. Look at that. That's dark. It's a small dark. So I'm going to have to work on that to get that out. That's not going to be as easy as the other stuff. That right here is large dock. <laughs> From this right here, over right here behind, this is where my 
the sawhorses are that have my plants, this area did not get weed eated. It didn't get cleaned up. And that's what I need to do. And I probably can do this this afternoon if, the, if it dries off a little bit. Well, I probably could do it right now. While the, while the soil is damp, I probably could actually pull those up. Where later on, I might not be able to pull those up. So I think I'll do that right now. So bye, y'all. See you next time.